the lesson objectives. Students will be able to use Excel to create XY graphs that effectively and aesthetically convey the relationship between experimental quantities. Calculate slope and intercept of the trend lines for any part of the data. Draw linear trend lines based on any part of the data. How to create an XY type plot in Excel. Enter the X and Y values in adjacent columns. Highlight the X and Y values. Click on Insert, Chart, Standard Types, then XY Scatter. Select the first chart subtype. Points only, no connecting lines. Then click on Finish. The resulting graph will need to be formatted. This movie will demonstrate how to create an XY type plot in Excel. Enter the X and Y values in adjacent columns. Highlight the X and Y values. Click on Insert, Chart, Standard Types, XY Scatter, then select the first chart subtype. Click on Finish. How to resize the chart. Click on the chart area so that the eight sizing handles, little black squares, appear on the edges. This means hold the mouse pointer over the chart until chart area appears in a yellow box. Hold the mouse pointer over these handles and a double sided black arrow appears. When it does, you can hold down the left mouse button and drag it to resize the chart. Release the mouse button when you're done. This movie will demonstrate how to resize the chart. Click on the chart area so that the eight sizing handles appear. This means hold the mouse pointer over the chart until chart area appears. Hold the mouse pointer over these handles. How to add and change titles. Click on the chart. The menu bar should now show chart. On the menu bar, click on chart, then click on chart options. Click on the titles tab. Enter the title for the axes in the appropriate boxes. It is preferable not to put a title for chart. Copy the chart to a Word document and type a descriptive caption below it. Click OK. This movie shows how to add and change titles. Click on the chart. The menu bar should now show chart. On the menu bar, click on chart, then click on chart options. Click on the titles tab. Enter the title for the axes in the appropriate boxes. It is preferable not to put a title for the chart. Copy the chart to a Word document and type a descriptive caption below it. How to format the axes. Double click on the axis you want to format. Hold the mouse pointer over the axis until value X axis or value Y axis appears in a yellow box. Then double click. When the window with the current settings pops up, Click on the Patterns tab to specify how you want your axes and tick marks to be drawn. 
Click on the Scale tab to specify the range of values for your axes and how far apart the major and minor tick marks should be, as well as where the axis crosses the other axis. Click on the Font tab to specify the font to use for your labels. Click on the Number tab to specify how the numbers on your axis are displayed. Click on the Alignment tab if you want to rotate the labels on the tick marks. This movie demonstrates how to format the axis. Double click on the axis you want to format. Hold the mouse pointer over the axis until Value X axis or Value Y axis appears in the yellow box. Then double click. Click on the Patterns tab. Scale tab, font tab, number tab, or alignment tab to change any of the properties that you would like. How to format the border and background for the plot area. Double click on the plot area. Hold the mouse over the plot area until you see plot area in a yellow box then double click. Click on the Patterns tab to modify the border and background information. Select None for Area in order to have a white background if you want to save on printer ink. Hold the mouse over the plot area until you see plot area in a yellow box then double click. Click on the Patterns tab to modify the border and background information. Select None for the area if you want to save on printer ink. How to format the way your data is displayed. Click on one of the points in the Format Data Series window should pop up. Click on the Pattern tab to specify the shape of the markers for the points and whether or not Excel should connect the dots. Generally, you want to set Line to None. You don't want Excel to connect the dots. This movie shows how to format the way your data is displayed. Click on one of the points and the Format Data Series window will pop up. Click on the Pattern tab to specify the shape of the markers and whether or not Excel should connect the dots. Generally, you don't want to connect the dots. Then click OK. How to set the grid lines. Click on the chart. On the menu bar, click on Chart, Chart Options, and then the Grid Lines tab. Specify whether you want a grid line for each major tick mark. Specify whether you want a grid line for each minor tick mark. This movie will show how to set the grid lines. Click on the chart. Click on Chart, Chart Options. Next, click on the Grid Lines tab. Specify whether you want a grid line for each major or minor tick mark. Then click OK. How to change the placement of the legend. Click on the chart. On the menu bar, click on Chart, Chart Options, and then the Legend tab. Select the position for the legend. Uncheck Show Legend if you do not want it displayed. If you only have one set of XY values, you should not have a legend. This movie will demonstrate how to change the placement of the legend. Click on Chart, Chart Options, and click on the Legends tab. Select the position for the legend. Uncheck the Show Legend box if you do not want it displayed. Click OK when you're done. How to change the text in the legend. Click on the chart. On the menu bar, click on Chart and Source Data. The Source Data window will pop up. Click on the Series tab. Enter the name of the series. 
This movie demonstrates how to change the text in the legend. Click on Chart, Source Data. Next, click on the Series tab. Enter the name of series into the appropriate blank. When you are finished, click OK. How to add another set of XY values to your graph. Click on the chart. On the menu bar, click Chart, Source Data. The Source Data window will pop up. Click on the Series tab, then Add. Click on the icon with the red arrow in the blank for Y values. The Source Data Values window will pop up. Highlight the second set of Y values. Click on the icon with the red arrow in the Source Data Values window to bring the Source Data window back up. Click on the icon with the red arrow in the blank for X values. Highlight the second set of X values. Click on the icon with the red arrow in the Source Data Values window to bring the Source Data window back up. This movie shows how to add a second set of XY values. Click on Chart, Source Data. Then click on the Series tab. Click on Add. Click on the icon with the red arrow in the blank for the X values. Highlight the second set of X values. Click on the icon with the red arrow in the source data window to bring the window back up. And repeat for the Y values. Click OK when you're done. How to format numbers shown in your data table. Highlight the cell or cells you want to format. On the menu bar, click Format, then Cells. The Format Cells window will pop up. To specify the number of decimal places to be displayed, click on the Number tab. Click on Number or Scientific. Then specify the number of decimal places, then click OK. Click on the other tabs, Alignment, Font, Border, or Pattern to change how the numbers are displayed. This movie shows how to format numbers shown in your data table. Highlight the cells you want to format. On the menu bar, click Format, Cells. The Format Cells window will pop up. To specify the number of decimal places, click on the Number tab. Then click on Number or Scientific. Specify the number of decimal places. Then click OK. Click on the other tabs to change how the numbers are displayed. Alignment, Font, Border, or Pattern. Click OK when you're done. How to add the best fit line. Click on one of the points on the line. On the menu bar, click on Chart, Add Trend Line. Click on the Type tab. Select Linear Type. Then click OK. This movie demonstrates how to add the best fit line. Click on one of the points. On the menu bar, click Chart, Add Trend Line. Click on the Type tab, select Linear Type, then click OK. Formatting the Best Fit Line Double click on the trend line. The Format Trend Line window will pop up. Click on the Patterns tab to set style, color, and weight for the line. Click on the Options tab to do extrapolations. In the Forecast box, specify how far forward along the x-axis or backwards along the x-axis you want to draw the line. 
This movie will demonstrate how to format the best fit line. Double click on the trend line. The format trend line window will pop up. Click on the patterns tab to select the style, color, and weight of your line. Click on your options tab to do extrapolations. In the forecast box, specify how far forwards or backwards you want to draw the line. How to show the trend line equation. Double click on the trend line. The format trend line window will pop up. Click on the options tab. Check the box next to display equation on the chart. Click OK. This movie demonstrates how to show the equation of the line on the graph. Double click on the trend line. Click the options tab. Check the box next to display equation. Drag the equation to the desired location on the chart. Formatting the trend line equation. Use the mouse to drag the equation to where you want it displayed. Double click on the equation to specify how values of the slope and intercept are displayed. Font, number format, alignment, and background. This movie will display how to format the trend line equation. Use the mouse to drag the equation to where you want it displayed. Double click on the equation to specify how the values of the slope and intercept are displayed. Font, number format, alignment, and background. How to do a linear trend line based on just a part of the data. First plot just the part of the data you're interested in. Draw a trend line and extrapolate if you wish. Add the entire set of data as a second set of x, y values.